Hey guys, uh, it's Life Worth Weekend. I am hiding from my family in this uh, sleep loft at my parents' place. <laughs> I didn't have time to make a full video this week, but I wanted to update you guys on uh, some of my experiences with SEA, that steroid ethanolamide that I am selling at fireinabottle.net slash shop. This SEA so far is some strange magic. I initially seized on SEA because I thought that it might have been some of the magic of the original croissant diet I did, which was, uh, if you're new to the channel, it was a diet. Well, I was literally making croissants. Croissants, as you may or may not know, are basically starch and very saturated fat. And so I was using a lot of supplemental stearic acid. We make these signaling molecules. They're actually called endocannabinoids from the fats in our body and from the fats in our diet. Um, so there's different ones called SEA or OEA. OEA is one made from olive oil or uh, oleic acid, really. Um, that's oleoil, ethanolamide, right? And uh, PEA is made from palmitic acid, uh, which is the 16-carbon saturated fat, palmitoil, ethanolamide. When I started the original croissant diet, I had maps, massive appetite suppression and I had rapid weight loss. And my recent thinking is a lot of that was triggered by SEA that was being produced either by gut bacteria or uh, in my intestines due to the ingested stearic acid um, that my body was using as a signaling molecule called SEA. Uh, that's really interesting if you watch my recent video, the history of body fat saturation because out of all of the fats in our body the one that has dropped the most over the past hundred years is stearic acid and so uh, you could imagine that levels of SEA circulating levels of SEA have probably declined by about half over the past hundred years and like I say this uh, SEA or stearyl ethanolamide is involved in a number of processes. One is appetite regulation. Two is inflammation. It seems to really decrease something called TNF alpha, which is controlled by an old school transcription factor called NF kappa beta. And NF kappa beta, even at low levels of activity, is involved in increasing lipogenic enzyme expression. And that means fat making enzymes. And so we don't really want high NF kappa beta activity. The SEA seems to do something to reduce the activity of NF kappa beta and these lipogenic enzymes. What I did not expect so much from the SEA was a massive thermogenic response. But that is what I have seen so far. Um, the SEA, as I'm selling it now, is in 600 milligram capsules. I was taking two capsules a day for about two weeks, and I was on a high coconut oil diet, as I explained on, on past videos like the pre-emergence diet and the one about tokelau. And the SEA was definitely giving me some real appetite uh, suppression, but I was curious what would happen with it under different dietary contexts. And so one day, uh, instead of doing my normal kind of high coconut oil, low carb thing that I had been doing, I went ahead and just ate three bowls of cornflakes for breakfast, just regular Kellogg's cornflakes with 1% milk. And over the next probably six hours, my body temperature absolutely exploded. And, and, and if you go back and watch uh, the redox argument for carbohydrates, uh, carbohydrates are a much more thermogenic food than fat is. And so on the coconut oil is a high fat diet. So I wanted to try, um, you know, since I'd been taking the SEA for two weeks and I wasn't sure what molecular changes that would set up, I wanted to try that in the context of a more thermogenic meal. My body temperature went, I mean, <laughs> I kind of went thermonuclear. And then after breakfast, I had another capsule of the SEA. So again, that was two capsules of the day. That was 1,200 milligrams. And then that evening, I had a meal of essentially just pasta with red sauce and a little meat in there. And again, my body temperature exploded. Um, just my internal feeling of heat was unbelievable. Uh, a little too much, in fact, to the point that I... Uh, lay awake most of the night with insomnia because I was just I was hot and I was sweating and and I have air conditioning and so I'm I'm thankful that uh, I'm at my family's place I'm thankful there's air conditioning here this week um, and so I I I for over about a three or four day period I guess about a four day period um, 
I stuck to that kind of like low carb eating. And luckily I was at home. I didn't have anywhere to go. I mean, it was the, the thermogenic response was unbelievable. And, um, but I also had to, you know, I have to exist in the real world as well. Right. And so, uh, so I laid back, uh, off of the SEA for a couple of days to kind of come back down to earth. Uh, now I'm doing one 600 milligram capsule a day. That seems to be working pretty well. Um, I am here at this vacation house surrounded by chips and crackers and people eat ice cream every day and, uh, breakfast cereals. And I, I can't even tell you, but <laughs> Everyone is always eating. Uh, so it is a little bit of a struggle to maintain any kind of consistent diet here. Um, but I'm very excited. By the time you see this video, of course, I'll be back home, hopefully getting into a routine. And I think what I am going to trial is is a real weight loss trial using SEA with a very low fat diet. Uh, that seems to be a potent combination. Um, over those four days when I was um, almost burned up. I lost a little over five pounds and I'm sure some of that was water weight, etc. And like I say, I didn't get great sleep those days. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of different factors happening there, but I am excited to get back and do a real trial of this. Let me just walk you th real quick through what I'm thinking of the full, uh, supplement stack for this trial. So I'm going to do the 600 milligrams of SEA in the morning. Um, I will probably take with that uh, betaine as a source of methyl groups. I will probably take RALA um, to keep NADH down mitochondrially, although the SEA may well be doing that on its own by suppressing things like NF-kappa-beta and TNF-alpha and the other uh, inflammatory things. I will likely supplement B6 and possibly some other B vitamins um, I'm trying to keep this as basic as possible. And then once I've established over, you know, a couple of weeks or a month uh, that that protocol is working, then I will probably bring in the other oxidants such as alpha ketoglutarate and disodium succinate to see if we can really use that to accelerate progress. As I say, dietarily, I'm going to focus on low fat for now. I'm trying to consume really thermogenic foods. This will probably include some lean proteins as well as starches. I've laid out a lot of the science in favor of thermogenic diets using carbs and protein in the redox case for carbs and and in the emergence diet videos. If I do if I do get into a lot of heavy protein, I will probably use alpha ketoglutarate to try to help break down some of those branch chain amino acids. Although it is possible, I have a theory that SEA actually activates PPAR delta or PPA sometimes it's called BPAR beta as well. Um, th that is a topic I haven't really gotten to in the video series yet, but this is a very potent PPAR. It's sort of the, the neglected little known PPAR, which is probably the most important one. Sometimes that's how it works, right? The, the, uh, the unknown, the forgotten one turns out in the end to be the most important. And PPAR Delta is interesting because it increases oxidation of branch chain amino acids. And it also helps you break down those branch chain amino acids in a similar way to alpha ketoglutarate. And so that makes me think that the combination of SEA with a high protein diet might actually be very effective. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I just wanted to give a brief update. Uh, like I say, this SEA is definitely some strange magic. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done in terms of and figuring out dosing and patterning and what we want to be using it with uh, from a dietary perspective and other possible supplements. Uh, there's a long way to go to figure this out, but I, I think there's I think there's really something here. And I think the rest is perhaps just putting it all together. Um, so come back next week. I will probably be back to having more full form videos at that point. Uh, check out the discussion forums over on r slash saturated fat uh, on Reddit and get yourself some SEA over at fireinabottle.net slash shop. I hope you had a happy and healthy 4th of July and I will see you guys soon. Thanks.